wa ya adam uskun anta wa zawjuka al janna adam live settle down yourself and your wife with you your spouse your zawj in al janna and Allah didn't even say fil Jannah, He said al Jannah, meaning everywhere in Jannah. If He said go into, because translations say settle down in Jannah, right? Settle down in Jannah. But Allah says settle down Jannah itself. In other words, you know, if somebody says, hey, why don't you move to Dallas? Or why don't you live somewhere in Plano? When your house is in Plano, or it's in Irving, or it's in Carrollton, it's one place. Carrollton is not your home. It's a place in Carrollton that's your home. Allah says, here's your home. What's your home? Jannah itself. Jannah itself. You're not moving into Jannah in one house. The whole thing is your house. The whole thing, every building there, every house there, every palace there, Adam, take it. Take all of it. How big is Jannah? Allah says, عَرْضُهَا كَعَرْضِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Its size is something like the size of all seven skies in the earth combined. Its size is the size of all seven earths, all seven skies and the earth combined with something maybe close to comparing to Jannah, not exactly. Jannah is bigger. Allah says Jannah is bigger than that. Now how big are these seven skies? Allah says the first sky is as far as you can see stars. If you see stars, that's still the first sky. وَلَقَدْ زَيَّنَ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَصَابِيحِ We decorated the lowest sky with stars. We have now telescopes that humanity never knew before. We have mag magnification into the universe that humanity has never even imagined before. And as far as we can see, what do we still see? We still see stars, which means we're still looking at the what? First sky. Allah says, Jannah is seven skies and the earth combined. But not quite, it's bigger than that. And then He tells Adam, go. Go wherever you want. It's all yours. Live here. And he says, فَكُلَا مِنْ, uh, مِنْ حَيْثُ شِئْتُمَا Eat from wherever you are, either of you want. You don't have to check the label on anything. Nothing. Everything is halal. Eat and enjoy. And it's not like one thing is gonna be like, oh, that wasn't that good. That one, we should go to that one. That's us at restaurants. Right? That's some, sometimes the keema comes out good, sometimes it doesn't come out good. Don't tell your wife. Right? But in Jannah, just eat wherever you want. But then he says, وَلَا تَقْرَبَا هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَةِ Not much attention is paid to the word هَذِهِ Don't go close to this tree. وَلَمْ يَقُلْ تِلْكَ الشَّجَرَةِ He didn't say that tree, he said this tree. What's the difference between this and that? This is near. So the haram is near. The haram is near. You have a lot of options. But don't think the haram is far, the haram is always going to be near. And if it's near, you gotta watch out for it. So you can never say, I'm far from the haram. As bigger than the universe Jannah is, that tree is still close enough for Allah to say, this tree, not that tree. And by the way, if the universe of Jannah is so big, then the, the tree could have been so far from Adam alayhi salam, that he could have been traveling his entire life and never see the tree. And how many trees in Jannah? How many trees in Jannah? <laughs> how many gardens in Jannah? Of all of that universe, there's one tree. One tree. I would even argue must be hard to find. It's got to be hard to find. But Allah made it a part of the challenge of humanity that the forbidden will be close to you, it will be accessible to you, and it will pique your curiosity. Be like, I know it's haram, I'm just, I'm just curious. I just want to know more. I'm not doing anything, I'm just wondering. You know, I wonder what beer tastes like, some guy says. I'm, I'm never gonna drink it, I'm just, you know, just wondering, you know.